What's up guys, this is Nick as a BBP here and I'm gonna be helping you today with trying on how to get the ensemble cast and stand in achievement. Now the first thing you're gonna have to do here well, the first thing you have to do is knife the door. Uh, before you knife the door actually you have to turn on the power which is located on the ship. I'm sure you all know this already if you're trying to get this achievement. But I thought I'd just give you a little heads up. <clears throat> Well, after this, the first step, as it says on the screen, is to get the fuse, which he will ask you to get in a few seconds here. Just waiting for him to move on. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, the fuse is, this is like the easiest part of the whole thing. You just go upstairs, you get it, you put it in the box. Uh, the, my guy should say here in a second that he's getting it. And yeah, now the fuse is going to be in one of three places. It's either going to be there, which it was for me the first time. It's going to be there, or it's going to be there. Uh, now you just put the fuse in the box, and there, there you go. The first step is done. Now we're moving on to step two, the generators. Now, uh, some of these generators are a pain in the ass to destroy. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this only works with frags, semtexes, and scavengers. Uh, I haven't used the rocket launcher or anything, but frags, semtexes, and scavengers definitely work on destroying these things. But uh, the first generator is right in front of the door, right there. Uh, I had a little trouble destroying it the first time. Because, as I said before, they're a pain in the ass to destroy. So I'm just knifing the door a few times, getting the dialogue rolling. And I don't know what I'm doing now, I'm just knifing the door repeatedly. But I should be, uh, yeah, I'm throwing a grenade at the generator now. I actually failed the first time, I didn't destroy it, my cousin did over there, J Mills is a BBP. And now we're moving on to the second generator, which is like between, it was like in the water between the MP40 boat and the entrance to, and the bottom entrance to the lighthouse. I destroyed it right there with like a weird grenade. Now the third generator is all the way out by um, the stamina up shack, like all the way in the back. This this one is a bit of a pain in the ass to get because you kind of have to throw it through these uh, boarded windows. I suggest that you get a zombie to destroy those board boards first because I don't know if you noticed but I it took me like I had to buy grenades like three times just to get that one because it was so hard so I would get, let a zombie destroy those border windows now the now the f fourth one is out here by the end of the boat uh, it was by the double tap machine and it's like right off there off the corner just to, took me three grenades to throw to get that one. Now we're done with the now we're done with the generators. So now I'm moving on to step three, the vodka. Wait, this is this is the only step here that requires any teamwork whatsoever, because you need one person to knife the vodka bottle and you need another person to catch the vodka bottle. So everything else you can pretty much do by yourself, but this one you need uh, two people to do. So I'm just getting the dialogue rolling. Uh, Nikolai is getting sick or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> he should be feeling better. Or Ta Takio should be asking you to buy to get uh, vodka. Blah blah blah. Now there's actually a couple different locations for these vodka bottles. Uh, the f first location could be right there, like right above the vault room. You you could go you go there to knife it, and you go where I was before to catch it. Now, the second location is like right next to it. The vodka bottle would be in ice like right there where I'm about to point out right there. It'd be in ice, that's where you go to knife it. And then you have to go like all the way down and under, open that door and uh, catch it from like right under there. That's the second place it would be. Now the other two places are on the power boat. Uh, the third location would be right there. That's where you would knife it. And then you would go right under there to catch it. And and then the fourth location is on the power boat. You go right here. Uh, there would be like vodka and ice. Knife it there. And then you jump all the way down. 
and you catch it right under there. Now, now the, my vodka bottle location when I was doing this was in the fourth location on the power boat. This actually took a couple cu tries because my cousin kept dying and dying. Because remember, you need two people for this. He, he, you need someone else to knife it. It won't work with a ballistic knife. It won't work with, but with someone shooting it. You need someone up there to knife it. So as you see, I got the vodka bottle. And now I'm putting in that tube right there. And then you knife the door to get the dialogue rolling again. And then now they're going to ask you for... This is the hardest step out of all of them. Because this step actually has steps within itself. It's the golden rod. It's really, really complicating. Uh, after they're done with the dialogue, I'll show you the first step. Uh, they're talking, he's like, you have to get a shiny rod or something. Uh, pretty stupid. If you had, this, is really, this is really, really complicated. I don't know how anybody in the world figured this out. I'm just, oh, I didn't figure this out. I just uh, had, I had help from some friends on Xbox. And I figured it out like that. But this is really, really, there's my cousin jumping around over there. Don't know what he's doing. But now we're just waiting for the dialogue to finish. Blah, blah, blah. I'm really not in the mood for games. Now the first step to this is, I, I would say you would want to get the VR11 because most of them, it's like the first thing you have to do. It's, it will, it's gonna suck if you have to do all these other steps and you don't have a VR11. So I would just get this first. Now the second step is the lighthouse dials. Uh, I'm trying to try to explain this the best I can, but I'll have this in the description below if you want to read it out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to set the top dial, the yellow one, to 2. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go down to the second floor dial, and you're going to set, and you're going to keep turning that one until the third floor dial is 7. Uh, and then after that, you're going to go all the way down to the, you're going to go down to the bottom floor, the purple one, I think it is, and you're going to set that until it's six. And then after that, you're going to go back up to floor three, and you're going to keep setting that one until uh, the second floor is four. And then you're going to go all the way back up to the first floor, and then you're going to set that one until it's two again, and that'll set the third floor one to seven. Now the codes from top to bottom is two, seven, four, six. Now I actually caught a lucky break here because I didn't have to set the third one till the second floor was four because it was already like that. So as you can see, I, I'm at, I was already at two seven four six. Now the this is the third step. Uh, it's the it's the radios. These radios have to be set in a very specific order. There's the first one. It's on the power boat, like the floor, uh, right below the power. The second one is by Stam Up. It's right there on the barrel. Don't get confused with the one that's under like the garage door. It has to be the one on the barrel. The next one is on the MP40 boat. And you just go here. It should be sitting on its side. And that's the third radio. Now the fourth radio is all the way back at the at the in the vault room. Right there sitting on top of the cabinet or whatever. Now, you, you're going to know when you did this right because uh, it sets out that Morse code star that you can see in the sky, and you can also hear the Morse code. Now, this is the ship controls. You, as you can see, there's a brown handle on there. It has to be set in the 5 o'clock position, so turn it twice to the, le the right. And then set that first. You pull the first lever once and pull the third level lever three times. Don't even touch the second lever. Now, the foghorns is a little bit difficult because they have to be set in a crazy order. I just set the first one there, that's the one farthest from the lighthouse. And then you go all the way around. All the way around and you set the and you go and you set the one closest to speed cola. That's the second one you have to activate. Right over here. Just set them in the order I'm setting them in, in this video, because it's the right order. And you have to go back back around and you have to go and the third foghorn is the one that is uh Closest to the lighthouse. Damn, I pissed off Georgie, didn't I? Uh, and that's the third one is the one closest to the lighthouse. And then you have to go back around down the slide back by Speed Cola again. And then you activate, uh, and then you just activate the one uh, farthest from Speed Cola, which is the one like by the rock. 
like uh, right over here. And if you set them in that order and you did everything else right, uh, that green light should appear. And now this is the part where you're going to need the VR-11. You're going to have to get a crawler or something, shoot it, turn it into a human. It's going to run into that green light. Now you have to make sure it dies before it reaches the top. Because if it doesn't die, then you won't get the golden rod. I got lucky here. I got a scavenger while I was spamming the box for that VR-11. Killed them in one shot, but... It is usually very difficult to kill them. Uh, yeah, it's usually very difficult to kill that human. You need a whole bunch. You need to just spray the hell out of them with ray guns, RPKs, whatever you got, until he's dead. But scavengers will kill him in one hit. And as you, if you could see that the golden rod just fell down. Uh, now I'm running down to the bottom, getting it right now. Pick it up. The green light should go away. Now you're gonna go back to the vault room and you're gonna set that golden rod uh, right where you set the vodka before in that little tube next to the door. Then you're just gonna knife it, get the dialogue rolling again. Now you're gonna talk, 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 and they're gonna be like the machine is fixed and they're gonna make some weird sounds. Blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, Really after this, the only other step is the, the fuse box breaks and you have to knife it. It's, re it's really simple, it's not, it's not really even a step, you just, they just tell you to do it. Uh, and then after, wow, they're talking for a while. Blah blah blah, come on, I don't care. Blah blah blah. Just looking around with my scab. See now the fuse box is broken, you go over there, just knife it really quickly, it's done. And see, as you can see, my cousin got the Wonder Waffle, which I was trying to get, because I wanted to show you guys, but you know, he got it, that's why I just knifed him right there, and we pissed off Georgie. But you know, that's it. Hope you guys liked my tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my video. Thanks, see y'all later.